Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft Down Under. This is episode 142. So last blooming episode, uh, we were working on the uh, storage down here, hiding obviously all the hoppers and putting a sorter in behind the... Um, yeah, just trying to fit everything in and we put a, uh, a disintegrator using a cactus instead of lava because, you know, we got wood floors, all that crazy stuff we're doing last episode, really trying to work on inside the ball here. Um, uh, now, obviously we're going to take a break from this, I don't want to do this all every single episode, we're going to chisel away at this because we're gonna, it's got to look really epic in here at some point. You know, we got downstairs to design, this is meant to be a library, well, downstairs is meant to be like a library enchanting area, then up here was more of a... Our storage for enchants and stuff that was meant to, like the, the green plan of things uh, to come and you know put more color in it because it's just sandstone and and wood at the moment but use different different bricks and stuff yeah so it's good stuff to the you know in the future to this room is coming so stay tuned for that now I've been doing a bunch of uh, off cam work which I'm gonna show you guys I've got some I got a lot to show you guys oh, oh, crikey it's getting dark not the right time to get dark or is the Sun coming hello you where, why, Drev, why, why have you moved from your spot? What, what, what are you doing? You naughty, naughty bird. Get your bum over here so I can put you back, because I don't know why you're, you're flying over there. That's not good. Yeah, yeah, you, you lot, far out, crikey. Okay. All right, naughty Drev. All right, land. All right, sit, good. Okay, so that prep work, I, well, uh, the bunch of off-cam work I was talking about. Let's go, let's go check it out. I wonder if some, I wonder if you guys can notice. Let's, uh, let's go down real quick. Whoa, you probably already, did you notice already? Uh, have we noticed? Yes, I think a lot of people would have just noticed. Guess what? Finished all the glassing all the patterns, even dug away half the bloody mountain, because yes, there's a mountain behind, well, just, there was a teeny island behind there, I had to dig a little bit of a way, uh, you know, out of the way there, a bit of a pain in the bum, but look, uh, the bobs are all cleaned up, all the glasses in, that's right, I've been getting some blooming work done, like, since I'm really not, you know, tipping my time into the, the huge, um, the mob bob farm, which was one of my biggest projects, of obvi ob obviously, I could, you know, I was tipping way more time back into the to the main base here. So we got all the glassing installed, all the the mountain, you know, it just looks fantastic. Now I'm just running around, just sort of, you know, yeah, it's all done. Look at that. This place is just, oh, it's definitely one of my biggest bases, biggest base projects ever. That's it's it's insane, but awesome. Okay. All right, so we we should stop chin wagging about that. I just thought I'd bring you up to sort of scratch on what's going on there, guys. Now, um, yeah, we'll be back and working on the ball some other point. You know, we'll just chisel away at it. Um, so I got to put all this stuff away, but uh, we are going to be hopefully starting a little bit on the uh, sugar cane sugar cane tower. That's right, the sugar cane tower. Um, this is probably going to hold quite a lot of pistons. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that for a fact for this farm is gonna it's gonna it's gonna be a big one um, it's Obviously, it's not the biggest sugarcane farm I've ever done, but this whole tower is gonna be sugarcane um, The other towers not a hundred percent sure one of them is gonna be storage one of them is gonna have uh, Villages in it like there, there's a lot lot to come uh, when it comes to the base here. Now, watermelon farms and stuff will be built, obviously, away from this area because we're planning huge watermelon farm. Like, absolutely a monstrosity of a watermelon farm, hopefully, in the future. So, that won't be here. But sugar cane, sugar cane doesn't need to be a monstrosity. It just needs to be quite large. So, that's right. I have also, if I can take my torchy, because somebody's probably already noticed, and uh, we do this. Boom. That's right, I have removed all the water from the other side. Check it out. So this was full of water, and there was chests up the top, all cleared out, all cleaned out now, which is blooming fantastic for this project. So now we really just got to take down the wall and take down the top. Maybe before removing the ladders, I should... Uh, Go take the, the top, because I was going to remove the ladders and watch it all sort of bounce off the block. That would have been pretty cool. But we'll come up here and we'll remove the, the wall here. So the sugar cane, this sugar cane farm is obviously going to... Oh, should I move this? Ah. Um, we'll leave it there for now. Just move this line because this is not going to come out with the with the sand. Whoop, oh, of course. Of course, Stady, you blooming fruit loop. 
Yeah, that's not how you do it. <laughs> so, as I was going to say, before I you know, tripped and fell, uh, uh, the sugarcane farm is definitely going to be quite large now. We're probably not going to... We're going to make sure each piston fires individually, not obviously an entire line at a time. I think that's a little silly. Remember, we're trying to reduce lag. This is our main base. We don't want, uh, you know, to log in and go, uh, 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 I can't move. It's so much, so laggy. You know, we want to sort of keep that down. So what we're going to try to do is sort of... Uh, there we go. That looks awesome. It's raining ladders. But yeah, to try keep um, the lag down. We'll try make sure the pistons fire individually, not all at the same time. I think that's uh, uh, yeah quite a priority. So obviously we'll use a observers, which is pretty much like a bud switch anyway. I haven't really used them yet. Um, probably something like that. Observer, pretty basic stuff. Um, and we'll go from there. We'll just wing it. It's a sugarcane farm. Come on, how hard it could be? How hard could it be? Now just. Yeah, it's been a while since, like, um, the last biggest sugarcane farm was the sugarcane silos that I did a long time ago, um, that Mumbo and the rest of the crew actually used the design for. That's right, I remember that now. Yeah, long time ago, far out. It's been a while. All right, down she comes. I find doing the sand falling quite satisfying. I don't know about anyone else. I, I really do. I find the, the sand falling down. <laughs> <laughs> quite satisfying uh but uh I, the, the, I should have set up something to like just reveal it all at once i think that would have been cool too now for the door in here i'm not sure now remember we are using where we're meant to be using guardians or every at every single tower but we're going to have a different design in the top Thing. See, we've got a trident up there. We're going, we should use something different maybe in this window. Or we can use a different mob. Maybe, you know, a giant creeper face. Uh, don't know. You know, we could do something different. But this is a water build. And I was trying to keep to water mobs. And I really want to put a squid face in anything. I think that look kind of... Yeah, a bit weird if, if you know what I mean. So, oh, crikey. Timed that wrong, didn't I? Come on. Four. There you go. Down she comes. So... I don't know, stick to using the guardian face in each tower, then change up the design for the top, a trident in one, maybe a staff in another, you know, all sorts of weird, cool we weaponry uh, all over the place would be pretty cool to change it up. Now, eventually, guys, we will be doing statues. That's right, we are adding statues to this area, to this entire thing, so stay tuned for that. Got a few ideas that I'm probably going to use from my survival server. Uh, probably, yeah, there's a few ones that I like there that I wouldn't mind bringing over. Okay, now she's down. Now, what else do we do? Obviously, um, crikey, we need a dump chest for now to dump all this in to make people cringe because some people like to be organised. I used to ask, ask questions in, um, Project Ozone, like, guys, do you like to be organised or you, you like the organised chaos? To my, my personal opinion, I love the organised chaos. Um, I just like to just dump stuff and find it later on which is probably not a good thing to be honest with you <laughs> but i suppose it's all all about your play style some people literally start off a hobbit hole and will literally name every would you stop ticking away far out will literally name every single freaking um every single chest right off the bat and have it all perfectly organized and all that blooming good stuff me nah that's that does not sound like me so the first things first i'm just gonna put in a basic floor maybe we don't put in a basic floor because i i think we won't put a basic floor in i'm just i'm just thinking to myself i'm gonna put i was gonna put a basic floor in but then i thought to I'm thinking we're gonna probably change the floor to something different and we need red sandstone um, as well, which I got a little bit in here. See, it's got some red sand, but not red sandstone. This is all the goodies that we will be using. Um, this was complementarily of the uh, the mob farm that I have, the uh, with a built-in iron farm to boot. Um, yep, so that's where most of the iron come from. Obviously, all the pistons for that, and we've got a bunch of hoppers and stuff too to go with it. So this should be quite interesting. I really want to try save on hoppers. So I'm probably going to put one single line. It's, it's all about planning it out at this point of time. So we need to move these, don't we? They're sort of in the way. Grab these guys. Sort of bring them back here. I've been sort of building oh, building this up for a while here. Boom. Boom. And boom. 
There we go. Lovely. Okay. So, the bottom here where I'm standing, obviously piston door, mob, and then line. Okay, yes, that's all sort of planned and in cement. Right, right. So, the bottom area where we're standing is sort of got to be, obviously, storage. Um, just thinking in my head, yep, storage. Probably, it's probably going to be a decent size storage, I reckon. Um, with a, like a rounder sort of design. And probably, so we need to go about, what, say 10 blocks in the air? Let's, let's do this. So, we'll say 10 blocks in the air. Maybe a bit less. So let's see how far 10 blocks gets. One, oh. Should I be using sand? Oh, it doesn't matter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, we're 10 blocks in the air. This is quite high to start with. So we might bring it down a couple. So that would be 9. That would be 8. So on the 8th block, because we're going to get back up 1. On the 8th block, where's the line? So that would be the door. I've got to remember also... Remember, guys, the, the window and the door's got to go in here, so it's got to be three thick. So kind of stay away the best you possible. And if we do an, a guardian, which we should have took at this, hang on a sec. If we, do an, if we do a guardian like that, remember, that's also three thick in the window. So it's a little bit of a... You've got to sort of take that into consideration as well. Um, probably best not to be gung-ho. But what we'll do... So that's coming down. We've got... I've got a whole ch uh, shulker full of these bloody things. Is if we come over here, I'm just going to mark this because that technically here is the is the wall. Okay, this is the wall here as well. Don't touch. Leave a couple of gap. So I would say one, maybe two tops, just for any windows or any stick out mobs, or even one gap will do. It's, it does. It's not a real biggie, um, but. I do. I want to leave a, a, quite a decent gap in there. So, I'll pull it on up. Whoop. It's trying to fly. So, back to the eighth block. There's a two gap. There's the pillar there. So, we'll leave that alone. We'll start here. So, these are three. One, two, three. Alright. So, this is literally the starting block. We're eight above anything. To be honest with you, we can still... Um, we can still literally... Uh, if you wanted to, you could start the sugar cane off quite low. Uh, you could shut... To be honest, you could start the sugar cane literally on the ground floor. Now, why I'm saying the ground floor? Because technically, we could dig down and clear out a nice little room for storage underneath. But to be honest, I don't think that's cool. I think walking through the piston door with a giant, well, decent-sized storage system set up down here is probably the way to go. Um... I just put a torch and a torch, so we don't know mob spawning up here. Flaming gala. There we go. Yeah, so um, the idea is sort of come off the wall a little bit, and if we use observer blocks, which will obviously be our block update detected, which that which pr pretty much what it is. Um, we don't have to build the old-fashioned block update. I wonder if they still work. The good old-fashioned block update detectors, or did they take those out now? And the observers obviously replace it. But why would you do the old-fashioned ones? Flame and galah. There we go. All good. There you go. Um, we're almost there. And this will be our first level. All done. I'm losing my voice. I need a cup of coffee. There we go. And there's only one thing I need to update on the tank. Is put a lid on top and some some brightness did you guys notice it's really dark there yeah i get po people point that out all the time data the tank is really dark i'm like i know i promised i'd come back and light it up so i've got to put some 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 sort of uh um like light in there like hidden there we go all right so that there is pretty perfect to me i'm not going to change that now we're going to be using red sand well i'm really hoping that um <laughs> that would be quite awkward right now. Um, I'm really hoping the red sand's going to work just fine for sugarcane because normally I, I would normally you can use dirt uh, or you can use um, sand. Now I'm hoping that we can get away with some red sand. I think that would be quite cool. Now to be honest, I'm going to double check that because I've never built into red sand before with this stuff. So we'll quickly fly on home and grab. Uh, did I bring some over? Yes, I did. Fuel. So I'm going to quickly double check and make sure 
uh, you know, it's going to work. So what we'll do is just move this for a second. Throw this in here. Grab the bu a bucket of water. We'll do fine. There you go. Okay, fuel. You know, that's that's fantastic. I was a little bit worried that we won't be able to place on red sand there, but uh, that's fine. Grab this dirt. Grab that back. Uh, we'll get a bucket of water back. And fill it up. So, yeah, red sand. Now, we've got some of those ladders. La la ladders. Ladders, please. Alright, so if we grab uh, half a stack of ladders here, and we'll just sort of put an uh, go up here. Not on the sand, because, you know, yeah, we don't want to break it. Alright, so on the edge here, we're going to go ahead and get red sand. And literally, we're going to place the red sand probably on the edge. You reckon? On the edge? Because that leaves a two gap for any redstone or any anything we sort of need to, 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 to do. So, I think red sand on the edge will be perfectly fine. There we go. So, uh, a piston there, a piston there. Uh, no, yeah, so that should be fine. Oh, we need to put some torches up. This is silly. I'm going to have a creeper explode as long as it's not a crazy creeper. Like modded. There we go. All sort of sealed up. Fantastic. And now we just bring that around. Like so. There we go, with the two gap. And we're probably going to reduce that by one. Okay, so now we're going to hide the water. The water's going to be hidden behind you because we still need water to grow the sugar cane. It's like a big, yeah, you know, we have to do that. So what we'll do, which I need to put bloody light back down. Um, what we'll do is sort of fill this in because this is going to be filled with water. So water all in here. All hidden behind the red sand. And this corner here. There you go. Lovely. Let's put some torches on this for now. And then I've got to fill it all full of bloody water. More sandstone, please. So, yeah, this time around, I think with this sugarcane farm, we are definitely going for... Uh, definitely going for the, for the red red sandstone we'll probably make some actual red sandstone blocks and do that as well so we'll come at the end here seal that up there you go so that would be the first level this is where the sugar cane is going to grow um to be honest the second bit here or well, this first bit will fill up with water and then the second bit will be probably sea lanterns because we have a metric but ton of them so the second layer is, is sea lanterns all the way around and then the third layer will be the piston then the observer block and then behind here will be obviously anything we kind of need to uh you know kind of yeah anything redstone related will be hidden behind nice and snug now out here which we haven't put in yet is the hopper line so if we can do one hopper line and then glass see we are closing this in quite well. I just... I didn't want to close it in. I want to sort of look up and go, Whoa! You know, that's what I'm, I'm trying to aim for. But I'm just figuring if I do... See, if hopper line goes there... Right, right. Hopper line is going in there. All hidden. So that would be the edge. And we'd have to put another block on the edge to hide the hopper line. Right? And then slabs probably over the hopper line as well. So, a little bit worried, a little bit concerned. Nothing really we can do at this point. I just should grab some buckets of water and uh, fill all this in the best I can. Like, not running. Try go for, you know, the full... Yeah, yeah, don't do running water. I hate running water. Unless, you know, just try go for a full source block. It would be nice if we can grab two buckets... We can do that quite easily. There we go. So this project here will be chiseling away at slowly. Obviously, we're not going to we're gonna not going to do every single level right off the bat. This the levels hopefully will come uh, naturally. There we go. So look at this. Hopefully, this is the right spot to be up. Flooding it full of water. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and call things now. 
Thanks for watching episode 142 here of Minecraft Down Under. You guys know the drill already. If you're enjoying the, the, enjoyed the episode, make sure you smash those buttons. Uh, leave a like, comment, all that stuff below. I'm going to fill this up here. And we're probably going to continue on this first level next episode. Maybe start on the front door and storage. Depends how much we can actually get done. Um, then we might move back to the library for a bit. We're going to be starting a main project, a new main project very soon because technically this whole base is a project on its line we just sort of choose areas we go for and yeah so we definitely got to start something soon um yeah definitely starting something crazy soon crikey all right guys thanks for watching i'll catch us all later